right, this is a matter of State of Connecticut versus Michelle Pinconis. Council, identify yourself for the record, please. Uh, Richard Flangelo for the State, Your Honor. Yeah. Andrew Hunter. Right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. I know we have met before, and I know you've previously been advised of your legal rights, but due to the nature and circumstances of the new charges, I'm going to re advise you. You do have the right to remain silent concerning these charges, and the statements you make could potentially be used against you in court. You have the right to stop answering questions at any time and have an attorney present with you during questioning. You have the right, right to plead not guilty to these charges and elect a trial in front of a judge or a jury. You have the right to a public and speedy trial, and at a trial you may confront and cross examine the witnesses against you. Some of the witnesses testify on your own behalf and offer any defenses you may have. In any criminal trial, states burden to prove you guilty beyond all reasonable doubt. You are entitled to be represented by counsel. Is this a full appearance, Attorney Bowman? Yes. No, you. Okay. And you do have counsel in the counsel. Um, if you have any questions about your constitutional rights, you should bring them up um, at this time or speak to your lawyer. You should also be advised in the event you're not an American citizen that conviction for this offense could carry consequences of deportation, excluded from admission in the United States, or denial of naturalization, all pursuant to a federal immigration law. As a person held in custody, you are entitled to reasonable bail set by the court. You're currently on GPS monitoring through the state, and I do know you have to remain compliant with that monitoring. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Madam Bail Commissioner. What else can you tell me? The defendant is 45 years old. She lived in Connecticut for two years and six months. She reports that she is supported by her family, and she has 15 years of education. She does have the two pending matters out of this court um, that come back January 31st. Uh, the first matter is for tampering with evidence. She posted a $100,000 charity bond. The second matter is for tampering with physical evidence and hindering prosecution first. She posted a $500,000 $500, charity bond. She has no convictions on her record. I would recommend a $1 million bond with the condition of NPS and UPS that she do not leave the state of Connecticut without permission, that she have no contact with the victim's family, the co-defendant, and or his relatives and friends. State. Judge, in looking at this matter, I believe the bond is set by the court at $2 million is appropriate. If the defendant is to make that bond, I'd ask that you do the GPS IPS with house arrest um, only to leave for things that the court deems appropriate with that no contact with co-defendants or um, Mr. Dulos's family. Your Honor, I have, I have filed a motion for reduction of bond. Yes, you may hear it. And I would ask that the court set the bond at 500000 that would be a total of $1.1 million. She has never failed to make an appearance. She's in full compliance with all the conditions of the court. She is charged with conspiracy. Um, she had no benefit um, from the disappearance of Jennifer Dulos. I would ask the court to set the bond at $500,000. Well, the defendant has been compliant with her conditions of release. The warrants indicate some level of cooperation with the authority level, and she, she has been compliant. As I said, there have been no GPS changes. She continues to charge the device appropriately, no issues according to the Office of Adult Probation. Therefore, the court will set on at $1.5 million for the defendant with the condition of house arrest. Um, the only exception will be for medical appointments, church services, and meetings with defense counsel. No contact with the pro defendant. She already is on that. So that will we be need made. to reorder, Judge. When she, when she came into uh, corrections, they cut off any GPS monitor. Okay, well, that has to be reinstalled, and thank you for letting me know that. So, the new bracelet, but with the more restrictive parameters. IPS as well? IPS, GPS. Judge Council and I discussed February 7th in Part A for her next court date. I'd ask Your Honor to order her other case uh, continued from the 31st to the 7th also, please. Right, these are proceedings moved. So is that by agreement, Council? Yes, Your Honor. So ordered. So ordered. Thank you. Thank you.